Hello and welcome to a rather different treasure hunt this week, which incidentally, alas, is the last in the series. The reason that I'm introducing it is that today it's Kenneth's turn to be in the hot seat because the tables have been turned and he and Annika are the contestants and they have the dubious good fortune of having me here to assist them. Now it's Wincy's task to, uh, to comment on how they're doing and keep us in some sort of order as she knows the route and only she. I think this is the most terrifying experience of my life. I want to go absolutely home now. Awful. Absolutely awful. How long have we got for this, Wincy? You've got 40 minutes, but there are only three clues. Well, Don't get carried away. Before, before we go on to those clues, you might possibly, you might easily be uh, wondering who Sorry. could possibly take Annie's place, oh. dashing around in the helicopter <laughs> and trying, trying to find clues. Well, we've got three different celebrity runners. Uh, one runner for each leg of the course. That's three clues in all this afternoon. And just to recap, we can't see them here, so you're also going to have to try and guess who the celebrity runners are. Oh, I, do, yeah. I do, in fact, know their names, oh. so I'm going to call them all darling, so that, I, <laughs> so, so that I don't actually trip up and use the, use the actual this is name. This doubly unfair. Not only do we have to solve the clues, but guess who the celebrities I think, are. I think that's pretty much you can do that. Oh, okay. This is how <laughs> you, you stand advice, here every week. This is terrifying. <laughs> have you got any advice to give the first celebrity runner? Because I think uh, we're nearly ready to catch up well, with I'm so nervous her. myself, actually, having to solve the clues that I, I can't actually think straight, but I'm sure um, they'll have a good time. I'm just a bit worried. Have they been in a helicopter before? Uh -huh. Incident, a... Incidentally, what are they, they're, they're doing, you're doing this for, um, for, for real money, just like the ordinary mm. contestants. Are you sitting on that yourself? No, Kenneth and I, we decided we've both got a, a favourite cause we'd like to put it towards. Yeah. Right, so we'll, we'll reveal that at the end of the, the, end of the programme right. too. Do you want to recap right. the rules? So let's hope we get it right. Uh, well, three clues instead of our normal five, 40 minutes instead of 45, but with the added difficulty of uh, deciding who the celebrity runners are. But right. can we expect more help from you, Wincy, than you give normally? <gasps> no. <laughs> well, let's, let's, let's see if we can call up the first celebrity runner now, because I suspect that uh, he or she is there. Are you there, darling? Yes, I'm here. It's, oh. it's a lady. It's a lady. <laughs> That's Hello, darling. Giveaway. Hello. Right. Um, I am actually standing on Teddington Lock, which is West London, and the TV studios are on my right-hand side. They're upstream, up towards the weir, and it's really quite beautiful. It's my first time here. I've never been this side of the river, actually. It's absolutely gorgeous, beautifully looked after by the lock keepers and everything. And I am terrified, absolutely terrified. <laughs> <laughs> there's a very, there's a very nice Thames television bar down there. You could give yourself a stiff one before running to the helicopter. If I'd known where I was starting from, I would have been in there like a shot. <laughs> oh, I think we should have a little peek at the map. First. Shall we peek oh. at the map first? Right. Yeah. Let's oh, see. Uh, uh, don't ten. panic, but we can't even Rich find Teddington. Not even on Teddington. 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 There's the head. There's the head. It's going to be awful, oh, Kenneth. Uh, uh, do you want to tell us a little about the Teddington area? Uh, for interested folk, Teddington actually got its name because it was uh, Tide End Town. That was why it was so called. One of the most interesting facts we managed to discover was that Noel Coward was born there. So, uh, inspiration for a star. If the helicopter travels from east to west, it's going to take approximately 17 minutes. That's flying at 80 miles per hour. And normally, I tell you what the treasure is, or I tell the contestants what the treasure is, but to make it even more difficult this week, I'm not going to say anything at all. Oh. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm asphyxiated. I'm, I'm so really enjoying it. I'm loving it. Here's the first clue. <laughs> if you'd like to open it and start reading, we share one. Good luck. The, 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 first clue is, <laughs> the first clue is go for a Burton via an easterly Wren's eye view of veteran bird catchers. Mm. Oh, then hop on and off for a gallinaceous nest where a needle fledged. No. Uh, ne a needle. A needle. <laughs> I think we've got an needle there somewhere, rather. Can you get into the helicopter mystery person? Yes, I can. This and I tell you what, while I'm on my way, I'm going to introduce you to my two friends and companions here. And that is Graham, who is on the camera. Hello, Graham. There is Graham. Hello, Graham. Hello, Graham. Hello, Graham. Hello, Graham. Hello, Graham. <laughs> And then we have Keith, who's following around with the umbilical cord behind. Annika's okay. already showing withdrawal And we're withdrawal on our way symptoms. to the helicopter. Now, can I just give you a word of advice? Yes. If Keith says you need a full me medical before getting in the helicopter, <laughs> just don't take off your clothes. <laughs> he always tries it on for the first time. Just don't listen to him. <laughs> Graham, right. you take care. Run, darling. Graham. You're faster than Keith. Oh, gosh. Go for a Burton okay, by an easterly Wren's eye view. Oh, Wren's eye view. So get Wren's it. Have you been in a helicopter view. before? Well, with, St. Paul, something nice. like that. Is everybody in? Okay. Wren's eye view. Wren. See if I can get something about okay. Wren. Wren, Wren, Wren. London books are here. Have you been in a helicopter before? Keith? Uh. Keith? 
this is so up. weird. Kenneth, no, I find this the most extraordinary that experience. Me. It is an extraordinary Imagining experience. Imagining Keith piloting Teddy the time. helicopter. Are you, up, are you up in the air yet? What did I call you? I think if we divide the jobs, if you keep guiding the helicopter and he keeps doing the research, he looks like the oh, bookish right. one to me. Kenneth, just yeah. do your bit. I know, I'm trying hard to find something to decide. Right, we're flying, we're flying over the lock. You know, what does gallinaceous mean, Kenneth? Gallinaceous, that's fine. Gallinaceous, you look gallinaceous. Mystery celebrity, can you hear me? We think, we think... Mystery celebrity, can you hear me? Yes, I can. Well, they're deep we, in books at the moment, so hang on. We've got to go for the moment, they should follow the river. Follow you. St. Paul's, at least. We're I well, think well. so. We're going that Have direction. you ever been in a helicopter before? <laughs> just. 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 <laughs> Dying, tell him to go. Are you an actress? Veteran bird catchers. Are you an actress? Uh, yes. Actress. Actress and actress. You could say that. <laughs> are, are you, are you, in, are you in something at the moment? Uh, She's about, apart, I, from, apart from a helicopter. Yes, she is. I'm, a, I'm about to be. I'm not in it yet. Darling, are you, making, are you making for St. Paul's? Galinatia. Sorry, I'm not doing my You're business. You're looking Sorry, Kenneth. Thank you. Are you making for St. Paul's? Am I? Making for St. Paul's. We think the St. Paul's is a good way to go and hover. <laughs> I can't hear you terribly well. I'm ever so sorry. No, it's always like that. You just have to pretend half the time. We think, go just towards St. Paul's just, Cathedral. Just keep saying yes, yes, yes. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. Right, Gallinaceous, relating to or belonging to the Galliforms, an order of birds, including domestic fowl, pheasants, grouse, having a heavy rounded body. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Short bill and strong legs. If you, if so, you, birds. If you, if you guess who it is, just, just offer it, and then I don't have is to call it down. It is Jenna Craven. It is Is it really? Is it? Hi, is it Gemma. Well done. Yeah. How are you doing? Now, now, okay. now, now back on the chase. That's right. much better. I'm so, so I don't, tired. don't have to call you darling anymore, so that's all right. Listen, this is the, uh, um, I don't know if we're going in the right direction for you. Because just, just keep giving Keith a sort of reassuring pat on the leg. It works wonders. Oh, all right then. Did it work wonders, <laughs> Keith? I'll give you a pat on the leg. Says it works wonders. Oh, it does. Oh, so that's the clue. Um, Rembo. Oh, hang on. London. But I want some Rem churches. We're just going over Richmond Park. Park. Oh, Richmond Park. Park. Have right. A look down down yes, absolutely. They're over Richmond Park. So near Roehampton. Yeah, but that isn't yeah. helping us really because we think it's something to do with an easterly view of a veteran. Uh, Ren's oh. eye view, which we oh, think okay. means the <laughs> eastern side churches. of a Ren's eye view. I'm sure it's something to do with churches. I don't understand what the Burton is. Gemma? Gemma? Hello, yes. Is, are you okay? Yes, I am. Oh, sorry, I keep hearing these screams. I think so. <laughs> oh, is that screams I tell you exactly delight? where we are now. We are flying over Richmond Park. Right. And we're just coming across ten ponds. If Rich these are ponds, they'd never fit in my garden. Richmond and we're Park. making our way up towards. Oh, hang on, wait for this. <laughs> Bog Lodge. Cockroach? No, Bog, Bog Lodge. Lodge. <laughs> 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 Bog Lodge. I'm not going to say the inevitable. Well, I think it's either Decimus like or, or it's Bird yeah, Brewery. It's, 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 it could what be... What are you wearing? What am I wearing? I'm, I'm in a nice little black number. A, a little black number? Yes, with bits of white. Oh, is wait, this the sophisticated... This is obviously the sophisticated evening version. Black number. Little black number, yes. Um, I'm a bit worried about Graham. He keeps bleeding out. You've had five minutes so far. Okay, we're trying to get there as quick as we can. Bad taste. I think it might be. There's nothing there about Burton. Burton Court or Burton Court? That sounds like a Burton Court. I wouldn't think it's that. Royal Hospital, wasn't that Ren? We're over Barnes. Yes, I think you're right. I think it's Burton Court. Yes, we're over Barnes. Where's 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 the clue again? Uh, go for it. Go for it. Over Barnes. We're over Rowhampton at the moment. Over the golf course. Easterly view. You're taking your time. Can we you do. tell Keith to sort of that go and go as quickly as we can? I think we've got the wind against us. Uh, that that would still be west. He always uses that excuse.